Hey what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel If you don't know me, hi, I'm Tita And today I'm going to just give you my tips on how to stay organized during college, school, life in general We have to stay organized so everything can work out at the end And so here are my tips That I'm actually going to talk to you guys about is obviously decluttering. I think this is such an important step, especially whenever you're starting something new. I always like to declutter my bedroom, my workspace, and every kind of environment that I touch when I'm working and being focused just because whenever I declutter, I just kind of reset my environment. I get rid of all the things that I just don't think they're necessary anymore. And so I only have what I really need to work, to sleep, to just have a better lifestyle. And yeah, basically that's my very first tip. I'm actually going to be uploading next week a video on decluttering and cleaning your bedroom for school so make sure to tune in next week so you can see the full video of it also on the decluttering subject i just want to say that it's very important also to don't forget your digital friends start the brand new year the best way i always like to declutter my computer that is actually chaotic i have to do that and then also decluttering my phone just to start fresh also, it's okay to do this, some decluttering on social media to unfollow people that you no longer identify yourself with. It's fine, just, you know, do whatever makes you happy and you should be good to go. I like to specially declutter my closet once in a while just to see what clothes do I still have on my closet that don't fit me so I can donate or also declutter my workspace because I just tend to have a bunch of papers, a bunch of notebooks that I no longer use and and so it just kind of creates this chaotic environment and that's why I think decluttering is so important when you're trying to be more organized and that leads me to the next topic clean and tidy everything up I feel like whenever you have a clean environment, a clean space, you also have a clean mind, a clear mind. So what I like to do is I always try to tidy up my bedroom and workspace in the morning and at night, of course, but like do the bed and everything. And then throughout the day, if the task of like tidying up my bedroom takes me less than five minutes, I will do it. If it doesn't, I'll leave it at the end of the day. But if it's something crucial, I just get it over with. I have to have a clean environment so my mind really works and yeah basically having anxiety is just snowball and whenever I have one thing out of place and then another I just feel so chaotic in my mind and that's why I think cleaning and tidying everything up it's such a really important step on these how to get organized <laughs> then more practically i also use a bunch of apps to keep me organized i'm a more paper girl but digitally speaking i love the google apps i'm always talking about them just because i love how compatible they are i have an iphone and then i have an hp computer so the compatibility of those isn't just the best but having google apps really helped me and so i'm always using google calendar just to keep on track of events tasks and just things in general that i have to do with my life i have everything there plan all my content for instagram youtube the brand itself everything is in there i just found it super easy because whenever i'm like going to school or whenever i'm just walking with my iphone i can just quickly add a task edit others and so i find that's very important also the other apps from google i think they are amazing and they just really help you to just keep on track of the things you're doing for example they have a google keep app which is also very important if you want to have like sticky notes something more of like reminders use them for a while not anymore because i actually found that the notes app on the iphone is actually very helpful i take a lot of notes there i do my to-do list it's a very complete app and I really like it. Then another app that a lot of people talk about is Notion. Notion is a very complete app, so you have to be ready to just explore it at its maximum capacity because it's such 
uh, I don't know, a personalized app, such a personalized digital planner that you get just lost in there. For me, it doesn't really work. I love the app, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't really work for me just because I haven't taken the time yet to just actually understand the app to its fullest. So I kind of see myself a little bit lost whenever I'm using it. So that's why I found Google Apps just a must for me. And I just love to plan on paper, so either way. But I love Notion. I wish I could just take more time to understand the app because I've actually tried it and I've loved it but I just can't see myself using it frequently so yeah I don't know this is just my thought out there but Google Calendar, Google Keep and all those Google apps they're perfect for you to keep organized you can do Word, you can do Excel, you can do PowerPoint, you can do a lot of things and for school those are great. I'm also going to be doing a video only on apps to get me organized and later on a study vlog as well so you can see practically how I organize my day and practically how I organize within the apps that I mentioned and so many more. The fourth step that I have for you guys is actually to plan and this can be tricky you're saying like you have just presented apps to plan so isn't that the same no i mean plan like for real i do a bunch of different type of planning throughout the year and so i think that's very important to share so whenever a new month starts i love to do a monthly planning which means basically that I go throughout the next month and see what I can already plan. For example, videos, other type of content, birthdays, don't forget about the birthdays, tasks that I know the deadlines of and things that I just already know the dates, I will just put in them. I like to have a monthly view of the tasks and of the things that I have to deliver each day so I don't get lost throughout the month. Then what I like to do is every single week, so on Sunday, Sundays because the work week starts on Monday. So on Sunday nights, I will just plan off the week more in depth. For example, tasks that I know that I have to get done specifically on those days. I just love to plan the week in more depth whenever it's a Sunday. Then I also have a daily planning and this happens also the night before of the actual day. And this is me doing a small to-do list of things that I need to get done by tomorrow so I wake up and already know what I have to tackle and not. What I'd like to do also is whenever I'm a little bit more stress relieved from work or whatever, I just like to sit down on my desk and actually go through the to-do list and do another to-do list, a more in-depth one, a more realistic one for the day. And this happens in like early morning so I actually know what I have to get done. I know a lot of people say that you have to do a to-do list or that you should do a to-do list the night before of the day but for me a lot of work just happens to be sent to me in the morning so that's where I feel like my to-do list is the most accurate. Then my tips on being organized. I could not do this video without talking about my planner. I love my planner. I did an IGTV of unboxing the planner where I got too excited about it but honestly can you blame me? It's a planner. My planner is actually here and I'm gonna take it out so I can show you a little bit. Ah! Of course, that was something. This is my planner. This is my weekly planner. It is the Simply Misty Grey 2022. I cannot believe it. We are already in 2022. You can also see on my college uh, supplies haul um, more in depth, but basically what I was saying is that I really just like to open the month here and to see everything that I have to do for the month. I haven't <laughs> just written down yet a lot of stuff because I just recently bought it. But yeah, I just really like to see what I have to do and then add some little notes on some videos, for example, and then do a daily uh, to-do list on here and yeah. For those who love organization, I really recommend this planner. I'm a planner freak, I'm a stationary girl, and this planner is amazing. So I would recommend for you to just choose which method is more relatable for you in terms of planning. If you rather plan on the digital platforms, I recommend Notion for that because you have so many templates and so much space for creativity there and personalization. So I think that you'll be just, you know, 
know, very complete with that app. I also feel like if you like planners, this planner is great and you can get so much things done with it. Another advice for you is whenever you're planning, be careful about the to-do list. I know for some people, to-do lists are just to write every task that you have to do throughout the year, day, month, whatever, week. To-do lists for me consist on having a prioritized list. And these can seem like a little, you know, a planner freak, but actually for me it works. I like to either color coordinate my to-do list in terms of medium, hard and easy tasks or tasks that take more time, whatever, or I like to color coordinate in terms of if it's work related, YouTube related, Instagram related or brand related or personal related. On those days that I have a lot of things to do, I just choose this method. You should be good to go. Then my last tip on how to stay organized. I use this for myself, so this is my own experience, as I said before, but it's to create a routine. I feel like whenever I don't have an established routine or kind of a routine, I just tend to feel more confused and lost and so having this routine really helps me to put things into their place and to just feel more comfortable throughout the day. I feel like it's very important for you to have, once again, a clear mind to just have a clear day. Having this routine really helps me to set the right mood for the rest of the day. It just helps me to also have me time, taking some time to tackle on personal issues or personal matters that I have to. I feel like creating routine routines may seem very complicated at first, but actually you just have to listen to your body and to your necessities. Establish this routine to really help your brain to just be ready for the work ahead. At least for me, I find this step very important and crucial and it's something that I don't see myself like purposely wanting a routine, it's just something that it happens and I feel like in this new college year I will just definitely do a reset routine so I can just establish some more new habits. I will of course do a video on creating new and healthy habits just because I feel like it's very important for you to have also a testimony of someone that were just not doing those steps and then creating them as a habit. I th feel like that's also very important testimony to have. Those are basically my five simple steps to keep yourself organized, keep yourself stress-free and start the year in a great food. I really hope you guys liked it. I think this video was kind of random, but I just even if I just help one person here, I just feel blessed and grateful to film this video and it, it's okay by me. So I really hope you guys liked it. I hope it helped. Comment down below also your tips and tricks on how to get more organized. Let's help each other. But yeah, I love you all so, so much. I'll see you on my next video. Stay safe and stay happy. Bye.